Today is Wednesday, April 1st, and right now is a difficult time to be the light. Our Lord called us a city on the hill, the light of the world. Jesus said that no one lights a lamp and then puts a bowl over it, because then we couldn't see the light, and the point of light is to be seen. But how do we be the light in the midst of a pandemic? Going out and being seen would be counterproductive. To be the light at this time means that we're going for the boring ending of this story. We're going for the opposite of the spectacular ending. Because the spectacular ending is also the disastrous ending. The spectacular ending is the one where hospitals are overwhelmed and rationing medical supplies and a high death toll. That's what we're trying to avoid. We're after the boring ending. The ending where... We all stayed home for a few weeks and saved the lives of millions of people that we will never meet. But that ending lacks pizzazz. It almost feels like we're keeping our light at home instead of shining it to the world. But we can still be the light in this time. And that light is not shown by going out and preaching on the street corners. That light is found in the meekness of Jesus Christ. And this is less about what we do and more about what we don't do. When other people lose their temper because of social distancing, we find our peace in God. When others rant on Facebook and social media about how unfair this is, we look to the God who has a plan in all things. When people take advantage of the suffering of others, and that will happen before this is all over, we seek justice. When others are looking for someone to blame, we are looking for someone in need of compassion. That's not going to be noticed by our culture. That's just reality. When all is said and done, this is not going to move the cultural needle any closer to God than it was before. But it will be noticed by individuals. The people in your life who are looking for peace are looking to see if you have peace in the midst of this pandemic. And especially this will be noticed by younger eyes. Your children, maybe your grandchildren, are looking to see that how you respond in the midst of a trying time. They're looking to see if you have the peace of God in your life. We are the light. And light shows the way, even when the way is kind of boring. May God be with you, and I'll see you tomorrow.